You're not dreaming about rain right now, but these tiny crystals known as pellets are the chief component in making a wide array of plastic and is the end result of polymerization. You might be wondering, what is polymerization? Well, polymerization starts when a catalyst meets with a basic molecule to make longer, more complex particles by the breaking of double bonds. And the process of creating these repeating structural units are known as polymerization. The origins of polymers comes from reservoirs of oil and natural gas being pumped, piped, and refined into side products and byproducts. This is ultimately where feedstock comes from, which is the first step in polymerizing plastics. And the feedstock then goes into a steam cracker, where steam is used to heat furnaces to break down the feedstock into their base parts through a maze of blazing hot pipes. It is then cooled into a dense liquid-like gas where it is then separated out into ethylene, propylene, butadiene, and crack benzene. It is then sent to their assigned tanks where it awaits to be used. Once it's determined what type of plastic or polymer is going to be made, the monomer gas is preheated and ushered into the molecular sieve where water and other contaminants are filtered out by a material called zeolites. The dry gas is now ready to interact with the heart of the system, and that's the stirred gas reactor, where polymerization is continuously carried out, where propylene, ethylene, and hydrogen are introduced to the reactor. Solid catalyst is introduced to the reactor to kickstart the formation of polymers. While this is happening, a lot of heat is created, which is unfavorable in polymer formation, so this heat needs to be dissipated. The unreacted monomer is recycled, cooled, and compressed, and then pumped back into the system to regulate the temperature. And this ensures that the monomer can be polymerized to specifications. Once the polymer is made, it is removed from the reactor through dipping tubes, where the polymer goes through the polymer gas separation process. This starts with carrier gas, where steam and additive are infused with the polymer to deactivate the catalyst. The product is then filled into a discharge vessel where unreacted monomer is recovered. When all the unreacted monomer is extracted, the polymer is then pumped out and goes into the purge vessel, where a single access stir will mix nitrogen, which is pumped into the purge vessel. Nitrogen helps stabilize the polymer and removes any moisture and volatile materials. The nitrogen is also used to, to propel the powder to the powder silo, where it awaits its last leg, the extrusion and mixing process. This starts by feeding the plastic material along with water and additive through a hopper into a barrel of the extruder. The polymer powder is gradually melted by the mechanical energy generated by the turning of the screw. Excess water and off-gas is removed via vacuum port, and the molten polymer is forced into an underwater cutting die. This is to cool and shape the pellets. The pellets are then driven into a centrifugal dryer where water is separated from the pellets. The pellets are transferred to a series of mixing silos for storage purposes, while air is integrated into the mixing silos to recirculate the pellets to prevent clumping and to facilitate the packing of the final product. And this is how polymerization is done in a gas phase reactor. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe.